morning everyone so this is what we've been doing last week on this small extension for valley view um started on top of concrete uh, we set out you see in setting out of the lines how we found them lines strung it down squared them off squared the building this way um showed you how to set up profiles we set up our starter bars which we discussed the purpose of putting them on is to tie this brickwork to the old and we can pin our line behind here run it to our profile back down to the other corner and we can run in these two walls and the back at the same time follow me keegan <coughs> we've put on the back wall here we put a bit of timber on here this is just temporary because you can see there is a door going in here but again same as the um start bar on the front we just pin in the here follow our line across to the profile that means we don't be built <laughs> that means that we don't have to build any pillars um we we use smooth reds below damp our damp course in here um and we change these facing bricks which are quite rough looking <laughs> but they look nice they're a good match to the house um we got our wall ties so we put our brickwork up first um ideally you put the block work up first with these because these are 83 mil gauge which doesn't work with a 225 block three course of 75 mil gauge works 225 these don't so when we've done this we were taping down to our dam course and our found our footing we built that up a bit on the inner leaf so that that would combat our wall ties and you can see you can't really see in there but you know there's a little bit of a drop so as long as these ties are dropping out from the the block work anything which could come down this cavity it's going to come along and out the the brickwork rather than you know you don't want your ties like that because any moisture could transfer it down and it could get damp um so wall ties in our insulation is in yes it's full fill currently bats um 100 mil i know there is some people doing 150 cavities 100 mil insulation 50 mil airflow where we are in newcastle that isn't happening yet although there has been talk about it and we did do one like that in the back end of the summer the double garage and extension it was that we done in um cramlington way that was the 50 mil insulation 50 mil air gap uh 50 mil airflow um what else did we discuss last week we discussed this air brick and the purpose of the cavity tray we recorded this didn't we this microphone wasn't turned on <laughs> so we've got down here anyway the air brick to ventilate the existing house it's going to be solid floor so this air brick in here so it looks like this okay <clears throat> so your air brick is here but telescopic vent that drops down the cavity and across the inner leaf and this where there will be a pipe across here that go underneath the concrete floor and ventilate the existing house so we put cavity tray in here we'll show you that in a sec but the whole point of this cavity tray is this effectively is going to look something like that so any moisture comes down the face of this brickwork it lands onto this vent it's going to come down and transfer across creating possible damp issues so we need the cavity tray the cavity tray is just going to come down from the block work down through the cavity and out here where we've got these weep holes so let's have a look down here keegan i clean this tray so i find it's always best if you've got any mortar droppings leave them until they're hard because there's nothing worse than trying to clean out cavity trays when the mortar is wet you're just going to end up clogging your whip holes up and it's going to be an absolute nightmare to keep it so our air vent is is down there this cavity tray it gets turned up in on the perps on both sides we have a whip hole there and a whip hole here which are these ones on the outside 
So they are the full height of the perp, but we just like to use these ones because they're less visible on the outside, look aesthetically more pleasing. So, any water now, if this, if you can imagine, this block work comes right up. If anything comes across, comes across the ties, drops down or whatever, it's gonna come onto this tray, it's gonna collect in the bottom and exit through the weep pools there. That is the purpose of that county tray. And these trays, you'll find them above air vents, um, above doors, above windows. What else do we need to discuss? The groundwork has been here. They've backfilled this for us. They've put, you can't see, but they've put a drain in. Um, we've got a hopper down here. So there's a rotable gully down there. Um, there will be a rainwater gully over here. It's going to connect up to here. It's left the connection just there. Um, he's got this one to collect the rainwater from this. There's going to be a, a, a bend through to the manhole over there. This manhole, I think, is getting broken out. It's going to put a new inspection chamber in there. We also left out for this toilet waste. Um, we just built that in. He's got his uh, rest bend up here. Toilet is going to be inside. That comes out of here. It's going to go straight into the new IC. I had a little bit muck left over on the weekend, so I came in for a few hours. You're seeing on the Instagram reels, if you follow on Instagram. If you don't, go and have a look. But we came in, I put the rest of our above ground muck on the brickwork. Just ran a few courses in on there. We had a little bit underground muck left. We'll just use it up on the block work. Can't use underground muck. Above ground, is, well, you can, but... <laughs> This was built using above ground mortar. So the color difference you'll be able to see. Um, so yeah, we've got this built up, um, dam course. So this dam course, you can see over there, it's built into the block work. This laps down the face of the block work onto the floor here. And when the, when this uh, sub base gets screeded with a, a blinding of sand, there'll be a, uh, a vis screen. Leo this room, which is just a damp, damp proof membrane. It's going to cover this floor, it's going to lap up here, and that creates a nice barrier for the damp. And that's what it looks like here. Let's get rid of that. So, damp course just laid up there, down the face, across. This screen comes over, laps up, and that is how it's done over here. We left out where the door is. I also pieced up the cavity in there below damp so we've got a vertical damp just comes up the back of the brickwork there stopping the transfer coming through not that it makes a massive difference because this will all be folded around the be um the, the groundwork as uh this green is going to come across here across and it's going to lap and um, there will be 25 mil insulation up here and then i think he's 100 mil or 150 before he puts his concrete on so we leave out this anyway you don't run the block work right through here if we've got concrete floor you want the concrete floor right up to the brickwork there i think that's about it do you think he's discussed it all so now what are we going to do we've came on a pretty much flat start because i was here by myself and i just wanted to get what i needed done and go so i've got now loaded up we're just going to load the brickwork up we're going to concentrate on this brickwork today we know where our tires are going to go so we'll not have issues taping down from a height so i'm going to set up a profile on here right now we're going to run this brickwork through here as high as we can reach because we have got a scaffold coming here on wednesday Hindsight that could really come tomorrow, but we've booked it for Wednesday, so yes, concentrate on running this through. I'm gonna have a count up now, see how many bricks we need, get them loaded out, get the boards brim with muck, and yes, let's go. <laughs>
setting this window out now, got sill height here, um, which we've got by 2.1. Measure the height of the window down, that gives us our sill height. The pillar here is 14.50, so we measure along here. 14.50, we've got 14.40 here, but we've got a few big perps, so what we've done, we're just tighten them perps up here. This brickwork pillar is gonna look better. Made this 14.40. Um, it's a 675 window, so we allow a little bit of room for fitting. So we're just going to make it 685, which we did for the door as well. Door is 900, we've made it 910. Makes it easier. Yes, that's it. So when you're doing your windows, when you're doing your windows, measure your 40 and 40 pillar, put your brick there, you know to lay up to that. You've got six, the 685 window. You want to put, put your brick there. Take that off and you know that we're just going to lay it up to them bricks there. Right, let's get that out. let's go. We've just set the windows. So I'm just going to pull this little bit of brick work through here now. We'll just lay that up against there where we've just marked our measurement at. one window set there so what we do now we go to the other end and we'll start and we'll start to pull our brickwork from that end now up to this point here and then that way we can move our perps to suit if they need to be opened up or whatever We've already made that window 10 mil bigger. So we're just going to have a look at that. The window should be 675. We've got 685 in there now. We've got a big perp in there. We can't have that. And we can't tighten it up. We're going to have to open these up, and there's not what we can do about that. So we're going to pull these over. These bricks are all different sizes as well. So Goes. We just wreck it. I just smashed me near off the bricks. Ah, yeah. Do a few tight ones here. So I'm going to pull these back just a, a little bit more. Yes, we're going to lose our perps. You try and keep your perps plumb all of the way down, but it is what it is. That is where the window goes. We'll try to make it work best we can. So we've got our window set over there. I'm just going to move this light up. I'm going to put one more on here, up to the windows. We'll leave these bricks there for now. Put one more on here because that is all that is on this corner. We'll get that run through. We'll get profile set back up. It's a handy tip for apprentices or people wanting to know how to use profiles. I just rake out the perp here um, the same day that I lay this and that means that when we come to put our profile on our clamps which I haven't got to hand we'll just slide straight in there and we can tighten them up 
and away we go straight off the belt. Go back to what I've just been saying about even out the perps for the profiles. So that's how we do it. Then we are straight in there. Go straight in, get our profile. I've marked this to the gauge that we need, which is 83. What I'm going to do oops, is just stick this all of the way up. So that's it. I've marked on the profile a gauge. Stick that in our hole that we left out. It's a bit awkward. This is where Keegan would help with each recording. <laughs> so just nip it up. Next one in. Straight in there. That's that. It's not in like because we need to plumb it, but it's just as easy as that. And adjust it if you need to. So look there, that is nice. I'm happy with that. It could go a little bit this way, but when we tighten that up, that'll be perfect. You know, that side's good. We'll just pull this side over. And that's it there. So now we'll just tighten these up and that's ready to go. Here to the window sill height, which is on this course here. So we're going to finish running this brick right across up to that height. Um, <coughs> put the profile on, set the window um, where the brickwork is going to stop and the opening is going to begin. We'll run that brickwork round and then we can then put our corner block back on the other side onto here. We can pin into there and just keep running this gable in up to the window get that up to the scaffold height so we're going to leave this we'll probably run out of book and um, there's more coming tomorrow uh, we'll then jump back on here there we, there's a little pillar to come up here we'll build that up little height that's that done we'll jump inside on the block work get that up everything's ready for scaffolders i'm going to show you these starter kits how we use them um, so i was saying before about putting the profiles on and using these to pin into so this is pretty tight because there's a fixer right there. So we'll just get down our brick and mat. Just going to get our line in line with the top of that brick. Tap it in, not too far because you only want it in slightly loose so you can get it back out. <coughs> so that now is on in line with the top of that course, pulling off that corner we can lay to that straight away. All tie course here. So on every tie course, well on every three course on the starters, we put these, which I'll show you here. Have a look. So we just put them in the little grooves like I showed on an earlier video. Just slot in like that and that sits on top of the brick. Slide the tie down into the bed. Just like that. We'll lay our brick on top. Just like that. And now our new brickwork is tied in to the old brickwork. So our tie is there, which is staggered to the tie below. So we want to stagger our new tie in between these two ties here. That's that. Um, let's get cracking because we don't have very much time. Before it gets dark, let's go.
So we are finished for the day. We've run out of bricks and muck. We've got sill height plus two coarse setting the windows out. We set the window out here. The door was already set out. We've got that up to this height right away around to the door and one two three four we've got another four course to put on there which we'll have to do when the scaffold gets put up and that would take us to our lintel height four course on here lintel height in the morning we're just going to set our profiles up here we've already raked out our perps for the clamps to go on set the profile up we'll go inside we'll get the block work backed up insulation in get the ties nice and clean by that time bricks should be here I'll finish off in there while Keegan's loading up out here. We'll jump on here. We'll blast these seven courses through here and on the front. That'll be up to scaffold height. And if we've got anything left on the inside, we'll jump inside. We'll get that backed up in there. And yes, I think that is about it. I'll see you in the next one.